Hi everyone, I'm Kara Dhaliwal. You're watching Punjab Star TV. Welcome to The Daily Six. Jagmeet Singh kicked out of the house for refusing to apologize to block MP. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh did not yield after being expelled from the House of Commons for calling a block Quebecois MP racist when he blocked a new Democrat motion RCMP discrimination. Earlier on Thursday, Singh defended his comments, quote, I believe in what I said, and that he was prepared to face any penalty as a result. A mother and her three young children killed in a Brampton crash. A 37-year-old Caledon woman and her three daughters, ages 1, 4, and 6, are dead in a crash in Brampton on Thursday, with the investigation now in the hands of Ontario's police watchdog. Peel Regional Police Officer was chasing a speeding car and moments later, the Infinity crashed into a white SUV traveling north of Torbrum, which struck a light pole. Inside was a mother and her three children. The six-year-old was pronounced dead at the scene and other family members were transported to Brampton Civic Hospital and Sick Kid Hospital where they passed away later on. Ontario's emergency orders extended for the rest of the month. On Wednesday morning, the government announced that Ontario's emergency orders will be extended until the end of this month. Ontario's state of emergency was originally put in place back on March 17th and is now extended till June 30th. The government reminds people that under these orders, public health guidelines should be followed and people should keep their distances from everyone that is not in their social circles. Flushing the toilet may fling coronavirus aerosols all over. A new study shows that the spray from flushing a toilet could send potentially infectious particles up in the air and the toilet seat and the bathroom floor, leading to the possible transmission of COVID-19. Some patients have developed gastrointestinal symptoms, such as diarrhea and vomiting, showing that the virus can survive in the digestive tract. This means the virus could be present in person's stool and could be spread through the use of toilet when flushing. A Vancouver passenger made a flight divert for not wearing a mask and lighting a cigarette. RCMP say they have arrested a passenger whose unruly behavior forced a Toronto-bound plane to divert to Winnipeg. Police say the plane, which was coming from Vancouver, had to land early on Sunday because a man lit a cigarette during the flight and refused to follow directions from the crew. They say he also refused to wear his personal protective face mask when directed to do so. Police say a 60-year-old man from Surrey, B.C. is charged with mischief or $5,000 and could face $13,000 in penalties. Ontario is launching coronavirus contact tracing app. Ontario is launching a COVID-19 exposure notification app within the next two weeks so people can stay up to date with case and contact tracing in the province. On Thursday, Premier Doug Ford said the app COVID Alert provides a fast and a secure way to notify people who have been exposed to coronavirus. And if you test positive for the virus, you can anonymously notify others who have been near you in the last 14 days. And if you've been in contact with anyone who's tested positive, you will also be notified. That was today's update on The Daily Six. Don't forget to follow Punjab Star TV on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And I will see you next time on Daily Six.